Drip coffee makers offer the quickest, easiest way to brew coffee. And as appreciation of specialty coffee in the United States continues to grow, coffee maker manufacturers are outfitting their products with a variety of new features. Many modern machines now come equipped with a pre-infusion cycle that allows the coffee to bloom, along with fully customizable temperature controls and settings that let you choose your preferred brewing strength. Hello guys, today's video we're taking a look at the 5 best drip coffee makers that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting off our list with number 5, we have the KitchenAid 12 Cup Drip Coffee Maker. KitchenAid 12 Cup Drip Coffee Maker come at 13.4 by 14.34 by 7.17 inches in size and weight at 10.78 pounds with multiple brew style options, timed and auto brew, a reusable filter and a cleaning cycle make this a simple but sufficient machine for most households. The unfortunate truth is that a high quality reliable coffee maker is not going to be cheap. At $99.99, this KitchenAid 12 Cup Drip Coffee Maker isn't budget for most but this is about the minimum amount you will have to spend on a high-performance machine. The KitchenAid has many of the same features as our favorite, the Cafe Specialty, but at less than a fifth of the price. This coffee maker is built mostly of sturdy plastic with a glass carafe kept warm with a heating plate. With a 12-cup capacity, it's also one of the largest we tested. It comes with a reusable filter fitted with a convenient dosage ladder that matches the volume of ground coffee with the desired amount of water, and the controls are intuitive, allowing for a bold brewing option a timed auto-brew feature, and a cleaning cycle. The coffee the KitchenAid 12 cup produced on the normal settings was well extracted and full flavored, which was impressive considering that it's one of the simpler machines we tested. Using the bold setting made an even better cup. It was much richer with a heavier mouthfeel and still maintained all of the beans' chocolatey notes. It may lack a few of the extra features of other coffee makers, but the KitchenAid delivers delicious results at a fraction of the price. Up next at the number 4, we have the Ninja CM401 Specialty 10-Cup Coffee Maker. If you want a brewer that can churn out a pot of regular drip coffee but also make passable specialty drinks with frothed milk and the feel of espresso, without the four-figure investment, this is the easy, space-conscious ticket. Making from stainless steel design, the Ninja CM401 Specialty come at 11.99 by 8.75 by 15.04 inches and weigh at 9.24 pounds that make it look versatility in a coffee maker. It can be operated with either a reusable filter or a paper filter. It also has a wide selection of brew sizes from a single serving cup all the way to a full 18 ounce carafe. If you choose the former, there's a retractable platform that can hold a mug, an addition we found to be incredibly useful. This coffee maker offers multiple brew styles like classic, rich, over ice, and specialty. Every cup we tried on both classic and rich settings was full bodied and flavorful. What really sets the Ninja apart from the other machines we tested is that its specialty brewing feature, which produces a concentrated 4-ounce pour of coffee. It's not quite as dense as espresso and doesn't have crema, but we found the taste to be surprisingly similar. The specialty setting paired with the built-in milk frother gives you the option to make specialty drinks like lattes. Again, it's not the same as using an espresso machine. The brewing process is completely different, but we were satisfied with my full lattes. With a little practice, we sure cappuccinos, cortados, and flavored drinks such as mochas could also be in the rotation. Next up at number 3, we have the Breville Precision Brewer Coffee Maker. If you're dedicated to controlling your brew and getting the most out of your java, there's no better precision brewer than Breville Precision Brewer Coffee Maker. The Breville Precision Brewer size at 12.4 by 6.7 by 15.7 inches and weight at 3.1 pounds and offers unmatched control over every variable in the brewing process. It's primarily made of stainless steel with a clear plastic reservoir. The brew basket is detachable and you can use reusable or paper filters. With a 12 cup capacity, the Breville is perfect for making large batches of coffee, but it performs well at lower volumes as well. Most of the customization is done using the small backlit display screen and a single dial. The screen is easy to read and the menus are simple to navigate. When it comes to brewing, the Breville offers multiple preset brewing modes, fast, gold, and strong. It also offers presets for making both iced coffee and cold brew, and you can purchase an attachment to swap out the brew basket with a pour-over device like a Hario V60 or Kalita Wave. We first brewed a pot of coffee with the SDA recommended gold setting and followed that up with the strong setting. The coffee made on both the gold and strong presets was fully extracted and full-flavored, but with the second cup was a bit darker and more robust. 
The thing that really sets this brewer apart is the customization available in the My Brew setting, which allows users to modify almost every major variable in the brewing process, including the bloom time, water temperature, and water flow rate. At the number two, we have the Cafe Specialty Drip Coffee Maker. With its vacuum-sealed thermal carafe and app-based programming, the stainless steel, copper, and titanium-plated Cafe Specialty is a top tier, and the SCA-certified appliance of this product won't let you down. The sleek Cafe Specialty Drip Coffee Maker looks simple, but it delivers when it comes to performance. Design-wise, it's made primarily of stainless steel with a matte black finish, copper accents, a reusable titanium-plated filter, and a vacuum-seal thermal carafe. The size of this unit was compact at 12 by 7 by 14 inches and weight at 10 pounds. The water reservoir holds up to 10 cups and is outfitted with a carbon filter to ensure that any excess minerals in the water don't make it into the coffee. It also offers a temperature control option, an auto-brew setting, and Wi-Fi connectivity that allows you to control the brewer remotely with the phone app. The controls for all these features to be intuitive and easy to use. Most importantly, this SCA-certified machine produces some of the best coffee we tried in our tests. There are options available to brew at multiple degrees of strength, gold, light, medium, and bold, with gold being the recommended setting. We tried coffee made at multiple settings and all were good, with the gold and bold having a more well-rounded, full flavor and a slightly heavier body. We tasted all the chocolate and fruit notes of the flavor profile in every cup. Where this maker wins is with its combination of simplicity and customizability. It's also extremely consistent, every cup of coffee brewed at every setting tasted just like it should. The last product on our list is the Cuisinart DCC-T20 Touchscreen Programmable Coffee Maker. We graded all Cuisinarts highly, but the touchscreen ranked highest for its combination of progressive design and everyday efficacy. All the Cuisinart products we encountered were well-designed, but this one feels special like when you unbox a brand new Apple product. It's all black, shiny surfaces and touchscreen control panel look and feel next level for an everyday coffee maker. But this isn't just a fancy, aesthetically pleasing machine. It brewed strong, delicious coffee that tasted cleanly filtered but rich. It's also relatively easy to program and use, given its tech-centric platform. The touchscreen panel features cute little icons signifying one-touch commands to help customize your brew. If you like your coffee bolder, you can select the bold feature. If you're brewing less than half a pot, Select the 1 to 4 cups feature for a slower brew with the proper extraction time. Adjust the hot plate temperature to low, medium, or high. Turn the audible brew cycle finished tone on or off. That tech-centric design is also one of the reasons this didn't come in at number 1, however. As exciting and different as it felt, we did feel that this machine, the only touchscreen model we tested, would feel less intuitive and more laborious and some consumers would want as part of their morning coffee routine. The touchscreen goes dark during the brew process, which yes, is nice looking but also feels a bit jarring. The settings and operating buttons are clear enough when illuminated, but it did take us a few times brewing to get used to how much pressure you need to apply with your fingertip to the touchscreen. Also, like its Cuisinart cousins we tested, this one's a slower brewer. We clocked 11 minutes for 8 cups, and if you're watching your coffee maker brew like, well, a watch pot, it seems like it, takes forever. We understand the appeal of a slower brewing process, but 12 to 14 minutes for a full pot of coffee seems like a long time to wait when you're thirsty for your morning joe and you're not doing it by hand.